Good day, everyone. Are you having a marvelous, super great, fantastic, superb, wonderful, stupendous, outrageous, terrific, unbelievable, even to the point of being egalistically, fantastically perfect? You know I am because I'm basket case. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, my feelings about the coronavirus. Okay? I know I have not been making... Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, a few months, but this whole coronavirus has, uh, you know, put me off schedule. Okay, things changed around work, things changed around the house, my whole, uh, all the videos I had planned uh, uh, last few months have gone out the door, and I had to make a whole new schedule. Okay, not to mention I've not had my uh, the ideas have not been coming through as quickly as before because I've done a lot uh, like what, 250 videos already. So the amount of things I can do have dropped dramatically. But today I am going to talk about my feelings on the coronavirus. And here it is. That's it. That is what I think about it. Yes. It has screwed up my life, okay? I still have a job. Yes, I do. At least uh, my family here at, at my house has been lucky in, in that uh, my wife works in the insurance company. Everyone still needs insurance. Um, and me and uh, my two boys work in the food industry. and Everyone still has to eat. So at least in that respect, okay, we are still... We still have work and all that. But I am now working harder than ever. Okay? They have changed my uh, whole thing around at work. Tell This is what I think about it. Yeah. yeah. This is it. This is what I think about it. Okay? And, um, yep. Yeah. That's more or less how it's, it's just screwed up everything. The entire economy. How we... Have I seen my daughter? In like, I don't... She, I don't even remember the last time I saw my daughter. It's been quite a while. Okay? We've been doing uh, video chats. But still, it's not that same. So... Again, I'm putting this out. Okay? And, um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I gotta wear a mask. I'm not happy about it. I hate the mask. Really despise the mask. Again. Yep. That's just what I think about it. Okay? And, uh, yep, that's basically my view on, on the virus and stuff like that. Though There are some people who just don't believe in it, that it exists. Okay. One person can, can conceive of something like that, but, you know, the more people that know about something... Uh, then the, the harder it is to keep it uh, a secret or uh, as 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 a conspiracy. The more people who know about it, and the whole thing is is that it's it's unreal. Okay, one everybody on the planet knows about it. Okay, something like this has happened before. Okay, multiple like the whole thing is is that. Uh, before the 20th century, like uh, like 19th century, 18th century, all those before that, it was it happened on a regular basis, okay? Uh, these uh, epidemics that killed tons of people, okay? So it's not something new in the past hundred years and stuff like that. We've had several, okay? Uh, 1918, okay? Uh, uh, influenza uh, uh, one 
uh, SARS, okay, even HIV and stuff like that, okay, it was basically, it, they all happened the same way. They, they came from an, uh, an animal, and because of close contact with humans and stuff like that, it just went from there to a human, okay, it, it, because virus mute, viruses mutate, okay, everything mutates, we know that, okay, everything over time mutates, the whole thing is the closer contact we have with uh, things and stuff like that, the more they, uh, the more of a chance that over time and stuff like that we can mutate, so yes, they, uh, they came from bats. People just don't. Some people don't believe they came bats. Came from a laboratory. Well, there's actually. Are these people scientists or doctors? No, they're not. The people who come up with these theories. Okay, they just came up with these theories just because they they want to blame somebody and they can't blame a bloody bat. Well, yes, you can actually blame somebody. Okay, there was a food vendor in that uh, city in China. Okay, that kept uh, bats in a small cage, very dirty, and all that, close to human contact, close to other animals like pigs or whatever and all that, and somehow it cross-contaminated. Okay, and that's what happened. Okay, it happened in SARS too. Okay, um, and I think I think HIV was from bats also. Okay. The scientists and doctors have found these viruses in the animals, okay, much more uh, before they came, before it came into the human population. So yes, why do we have to have a conspiracy? Everything, because yeah, there are conspiracies, don't get me wrong, there are some conspiracies and stuff like that, but... Um, not as many as people think, okay? Not everything is a conspiracy, okay? Um, I the whole thing is, is yes, the Russian government, I think, uh, put in a program and stuff like that to, they want to see how, it, if they could actually pick the next president. And I think they did that. Yes, they did. I know Trump doesn't believe it. Because then that, that makes his whole uh, theme and stuff like that that uh, he lost. Well, actually, he did lose. He did lose the vote. Okay? But because how the Paul, he, he had less people voted for him than they did for Hillary Clinton. Not that I like either one of them. They are... Uh, I basically dislike Trump more than Hillary Clinton. But the whole thing is Hillary Clinton and stuff like that has not, not been... Uh, the base person, but let's let's get back onto topic. Let's back onto, on this uh, uh, on uh, COVID nineteen. Okay, let's do this again. Boom! This is what I think, and you know what? This does not show my true feelings on it. Okay, I have to get a bigger one. Yeah, much much bigger than this one. Okay. I will uh, see if I can get a bigger one for uh, for my next one and stuff like that and to show my contempt for what's happening right now. Okay? Thank you. Bye.